Hey guys, all right, so for the last three months, I've been working towards a little challenge called the Ultimate All-Rounder. And today, I'm actually gonna give it a crack. Now, the whole idea behind this Ultimate All-Rounder challenge is, you know, it's all good and well to be able to go out and run really quick and be really aerobically fit. And then on the other end of the spectrum, it's really good to be uh, strong, especially relative to your body weight and be able to lift a lot of weight. But can you put them all together on the same day and be really strong relative your body to, to your body weight and be really aerobically fit. So yeah, that's where this challenge comes into play because you've got to be able to do it all. So on a single day, you've got to be able to do a body weight strict press. You've got to do one and a half times body weight bench press, two times body weight back squat, uh, two and a half times body weight deadlift, 25 strict pull-ups. So you can hang on the bar, but you just can't come off it and it has to be strict. Uh, and then to finish off, you've got to be able to run 5K under 20 minutes. So you can spread it out through however you want throughout the, the day, but it's all got to be done within a 24 uh, hour period um, in whatever order. Okay, so I'm going to attempt that today. I'm going to do it all except for the back squats. Now, uh, if you've been following my stuff, I have been training the back squats a lot, but Unfortunately, because of an old groin injury, I'm, I have to cut them out of my uh, training. So I'm not going to be able to attempt them today, even though I really do think, um, yeah, I, I could get them. But, you know, this is going to be an open-ended thing. So I may have to come back to it later. But I am going to attempt everything else um, other than the back squats because everything else is fine with the groin injury. And once that fix up, I may give it another another shot. Um, but, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. Um yeah, three months ago, I, I was, uh, yeah, nowhere near to the fitness that I normally uh, sit at. And then uh, my mate Walsh, she came up to me with me this uh, with this uh, challenge. And it's been a really good little uh, goal to work towards to pick my fitness back up. And within a three-month period, it has been a big ask. Um, yeah, like I've had to pick up a lot of stuff. But yeah, we'll see how it goes today. We're going to start with the strict press. So let's get into it. All right, so strict press out of the way. Um, yeah, that's a good little win there, good way to start. Um, yeah, I normally struggle a fair bit with the strict press, but been working on a fair bit over the last few years. So um, yeah, they're going pretty well. Um, and another thing that helped as well is when I started uh, training for this, I was sitting at you know over, over 76 kilos. I was a little bit, um, getting a little bit chubby. And uh, yeah, so I have lost a little bit of weight getting back into my fitness, which has definitely helped with this challenge because obviously it's off, off your body weight as well. All right, so strict press is out of the way, and now um, deadlift is a really um, hard one for me. So I'm going to be doing that next while I'm while I'm nice and fresh. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm halfway through my warm up for the deadies, and I just wanted to uh, share a little tip with you guys. So um, if you are going for max effort lifts, uh, whether it be uh, strict press, deadlift, back squat, anything like that, you need to really think of um, your warm up sets as well. So um, yeah, you, you're not just going in and, go, and lifting as much as you can straight off the bat because your body is not ready for it and you most probably won't be able to lift it. So, uh, but on the other end of the spectrum, you don't want to be uh, using your warm-up sets like to the extent where you're actually wearing yourself out for the max effort um, lift. So yeah, there's a lot of strategy behind it and it's a matter of you know, finding what works for you. Um, but yeah, you want those warm-up sets to be enough to stimulate your body to be ready and prepared to lift that that big uh, weight that you're building up to uh, but you don't want it to be fatiguing so that when you actually get to that weight you can't actually lift it so I see it all the time when uh, people are going to lift like a lot of weight and um, yeah they're just going doing sets of tens like all the way up to it and then they decide to switch to switch to ones for a bit but you're going to be really fatigued going into it like I'll start doing tens with a really really light weight and then for instance, right now I'm going for, I think it's 183 and a half or 0.75. Um, but yeah, I've started like with 60, just started doing, you know, sets of 10 or whatever, and then built up to a hundred, did a set of five, went to 120, did a set of three, and now I'm pretty much gonna go uh, 140, 160, doing singles, and then I'm gonna go 170, 183 and a half, okay? So, yeah, you want, want it to be stimulating, but not fatiguing leading up to it, especially if you're going for 
um, you know, a 1RM, 3RM or whatever you're going for. All right, so deadlift out of the way. That was a bit of a struggle, but we got there in the end. Um, so the number that I needed to go for was 183.75, and I had the choice of either going uh, 183.5 or 184. So I ended up going 184 by strapping. You would have seen this in the middle. Uh, I strapped that in the middle there to make it 184 so that I actually made the number that I needed to. Okay, so that was the big one that I was worried about. Um, yeah, I haven't really done that much deadlifting over the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I actually got that up. So uh, my PB is 200, but yeah, obviously nowhere near that at the moment and, um, and a lot lighter than what I was when I, when I was lifting that. So yeah, next up, I'm going to be doing the bench press, which is probably the strongest one that, um, oh, between that and the, and the pull-ups, but the pull-ups are a big challenge. So um, yeah, bench press, um, I shouldn't have any problem with. That's why I'm doing it the, after the deadlifts. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably have a little bit of a break and give my arms and, and that a bit of a rest. Then uh, I'll hit the pull-ups afterwards. Mm -mm. So for breakfast this morning, I didn't really have that much uh, to eat because I, yeah, I, I just perform better when I haven't got much in my stomach. So all I had before um, my lifts this morning was an apple and a coffee ready to go. So now I've got my, I've still got the pull-ups and the, and the run to go. So I need to make sure I'm definitely fueled up, especially after those lifts. And yeah, you don't want to be going into that 5k run under fueled because you'll definitely feel it. Um, so yeah, what I've got is a, I've made up a smoothie and it is, it's got a banana, it's got some protein powder, it's got half a cup of oats and some frozen uh, blueberries in it. So really good uh, carbohydrates and protein in there just to keep me fueled up and, and repairing along the way up until I, um, yeah, until I attempt those, those next couple of events. All right, so I've had about a 30 or 40 minute rest, got a gut full of smoothie, I've got my awesome pull up bar there. Um, yeah, so I've got to attempt to get 25 strict pull-ups and you cannot get off the bar at any point. So uh, you can rest at the bottom position, but from the dead hang, you've got to go back into um, a pull-up straight away without putting your feet down. All right, so I've got to do 25 reps. All right, see how we go. All right, there you have it. All right, guys, so uh, it's now one o'clock in the Arvo and it's a beautiful day. Uh, not like it has been over the last few days. It's been pouring down ra with rain. So yeah, today I've got a, got a lucky day and, and got a really nice, uh, yeah, some nice weather here. So um, yeah, this morning got my strength lifts done. Uh, yeah, that was around about you know, uh, seven o'clock or so. Um, yeah, just chipped through all of them. And now uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, I am going to attempt the worst one out of the lot because you're in pain for uh, so much longer than the rest of them. Okay, uh, yeah, and that's the 5K run, so we've got to get it under 20 minutes. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty undecided with uh, how I'm going to approach it. I'm going to go through a warm-up and sort of decide, but uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can go into a 5K run, and um, one of them is with a, like a negative split, so you start a little bit slower, uh, for the first half and then the second half is when you pick up the time and you have a bit of a kick at the end um, Or you can go out and just have sort of a flat pace So just whatever pace that you want to do it at uh, you just stick with it the whole time and try to hang on uh, For dear life at the end. 
Um, the worst thing that you can do is just go out uh, really hard from the start or a bit too quick at the start and realize halfway that, um, that you've gone out too quick because you've still got two and a half K to go and it, it really hurts and it, and it plays with your head. Um, so yeah, I'm undecided with what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get in, do a warm up, figure it out and uh, yeah, try to figure out a uh, plan of attack. All right, so warm up's done. Um, yeah, so my PB on this track for a uh, for a five k run is down in the nineteen thirties, around about. Um, but that was back when I was doing a lot of run training leading up to a marathon, and I'm nowhere near that level right now. Um, so a couple of weeks, or about a month ago, I, I did come out for a bit of a pacer test, and um, I did attempt to go three fifty five per kilometre uh, right from the start, and I really, really was hurting by halfway. Uh, through and I ended up um, stopping at the 4k just because I couldn't hold that pace for any longer Okay, so um, yeah with that. I, I think today. I'm gonna gonna go out a little bit easier maybe thinking around about a 4 or 5 pace for the first K and Then sort of try to pick it up into the second K maybe sit around four minutes and then in the second half hopefully um, get it under that four minute mark and and make up for um, for that first slower K and yeah, hopefully, because I've only got to get it in, you know, one second under the 20 minutes and I've made it. So um, yeah, just leaving a little bit more in the tank at the end, I think will leave me sitting in a better position rather than uh, going out a bit too hot and, um, and really struggling at the end. So that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see what folds out. I've got some good news. I made it. I did it all. So um, other than the squat, just for the uh, injury of the groin, uh, yeah, I've hit the ultimate all-rounder. But... It's an open-ended thing because I still didn't do the, do the squat, so that's going to play with me for a little bit. So we'll have to um, pick that up at a, at a later date. But um, yeah, kind of over this training now, I'm just going to switch it up for a little bit. But so the 5K run, man, that hurt. That was um, that was very, very difficult. Uh, you just got to go to a place where it hurts and be able to stay there and even go quicker. So I did exactly what I said. I went out um, relatively easy and yeah and ended up picking up on the on the last uh last half and i didn't think i could i was, I was honestly in a place where i could easily have stopped like no questions and uh, i could have just not posted this stuff up but i dug deep all by myself like no one's here here with me so you can do it you can get out you just got to train your mind to be able to go to those places and just keep pushing while you're there so yeah on the way out i hit a split of 1004 this is going off strava's uh, little segment so yeah, went out, hit 10.04, and on the way back, I hit a 9.51, and I can tell you right now, I could have not gone any quicker at all. Like, it was absolute max. So that was definitely a max effort for me, and I, I think I paced it really well to leave me that little bit in the tank at the end there, because if I didn't, I, I don't think I could have um, could have kept pushing it, because it was, it was very difficult. Um, but yeah, that's it. The ultimate all-rounder is done for now until I can get back into squats and, and pick that up at a later date, but... You know, if you've been following me, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you want to, you know, jump in and, and do something like this, I've just shown you that it's possible that I can do it and I can program for it. So, yeah, just hit me up. I can always uh, program for that this sort of stuff. And it's really good for being in the defense, like this all-round type of fitness as well. So, um, yeah, just hit me up, send me a message or whatever. I'm happy to uh, just have a chat with you over the phone or, or through Messenger or whatever. Um, yeah, but other than that, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get some rest, fix all this up, edit it for you, and put up all the results and everything. So um, enjoy, see you later.